Hello, my name is Jonathan, and today I'll be showing you how to operate one of the collaborative classrooms at Central Arizona College. In addition to a projector, these classrooms have three pods. Each pod has one TV, and each TV has its own dedicated air media device, which will allow students to connect their Android, iOS, Windows, or Apple devices to it wirelessly, and show content from up to four sources simultaneously. These classrooms work similarly to the single projection classrooms, with a few differences that we'll go over in this video. To turn the projector and the TVs on, press the on-off button on the top left corner of the touch panel. When you press the on-off button, a prompt appears asking whether you want to start the room in collaborative mode or in standard mode. In standard mode, all of the TVs will replicate everything that's shown on the projector. In collaborative mode, all of the TVs will be shown their individual air media devices. For the purposes of this video, we'll start the room in collaborative mode. A warm-up bar will appear on the screen, and all of the monitors will switch to show their respective air media devices. While the room is warming up, you can check to make sure that the computer is turned on, and the Elmo can be found in the drawer on the left-hand side of the desk. This drawer is never locked. After the room has finished warming up, you can select a source from the buttons on the left-hand side of the panel. If we wanted to show the PC on the projector, we press the PC button. If we wanted to show the document camera, we could simply press the document camera button. And you'll notice that when you do this, there are now four buttons that you can push on the document camera tab. We can zoom in on the document. We can zoom out of the document. We can turn the lamp on, and we can turn the lamp off. If we wanted to show the Blu-ray player on the projector, we would just press the Blu-ray button. And on this page, there are several buttons available for us to push. The buttons on the left-hand side allow us to control disc playback, while the buttons on the right-hand side allow us to control menu options. For instance, I can pause, I can play, I can fast forward, I can rewind, I can skip ahead, I can skip backwards, and I can exit the DVD entirely and return to the main menu. On the side of the desk there are several auxiliary cables that I can use to connect my peripheral devices. To show these peripheral devices on the projector, press the Sources button, and you'll notice that a new scrolling list appears on the screen. To access the auxiliary cables, scroll to the bottom. HDMI aux is typically used with newer laptops. VGA is most commonly used with older laptops and newer laptops. And RCA is found on camcorders and DVD VCR players. At the top of this list, you'll see that there are four Air Media devices. Air medias 1 through 3 are the air medias associated with TVs 1, 2, and 3, and there's a fourth air media device designated solely for the instructor. Selecting any one of these air media devices shows that air media device on the projector. To source off, press and hold the selected source until it turns blank. For instance, if the computer were selected, I could source off by pressing and holding the PC button until it turned dark. Notice that when you do this, some text appears letting you know that there is no source being sent to the projector. One of the unique features of the collaborative rooms is the instructor's ability to control whether air media shows on each of the TVs or whether the content on the projector shows up on each of the TVs. This is controlled in the broadcast bar. If the PC were being shown on the projector, I can open the broadcast bar by clicking the three horizontal lines on the bottom of the screen, 
And using this bar, I can switch between collaborative and standard mode. So for instance, if I uncheck TV1, we see that it changes from showing the computer to showing its air media device. And if I uncheck TV3, it also changes from showing the PC to showing its air media device. And I can mix and match these as I choose. The broadcast bar also gives you the ability to blank out the image shown on the TVs. If you wanted to show a blank screen on the TVs, simply press the button on the far right of the broadcast bar. The TVs will mute themselves, turn the key lock on, and show nothing. To re-enable video content on the TVs, simply press this button again. To control the volume of the audio heard from the overhead speakers, you can use the volume up and down buttons on the right hand side of the panel. Pressing the volume plus button increases the volume, and pressing the volume minus button decreases the volume. Alternatively, you can slide the analog gauge to get to the volume level that you want. Notice that the volume level is reported on the bottom left hand corner of the panel. To mute the audio, press the mute button. And to return the audio to its previous setting, press the mute button again. If you need assistance at any time during your class, you can send a help message to the technician on duty. To do this, press the help button on the top right hand corner of the panel. Select one of the four pre-canned messages on the bottom of the screen, and then press the send button. This message will automatically be transmitted to the technician on duty. To close the help tab, simply press and hold the help button until it turns blank. When you're finished using the room, you can power down the system by pressing and holding the on-off button for three seconds. Note that the TVs and the projector will be turned off automatically.